Another big story we are following tonight. San Francisco is launching a new program to try to help fight the opioid crisis. Starting tomorrow, emergency responders will begin administering a drug called buprenorphine. The uh, Department of Public Health says it is the most effective treatment for opioid use disorder. Cronfors Rob Nesbitt talked with the experts about how it will be used. Health experts say that buprenorphine, also known as Suboxone, reduces the risk of an overdose death by 50%, a tool that San Francisco paramedics will have on hand starting April 1st. San Francisco has a number of initiatives to combat the opioid crisis, and the newly launched buprenorphine program is part of that. Dr. Hillary Cunnins is the director of behavioral health services in San Francisco, and she explained how the drug's effects work similarly to methadone. To help a person not experience withdrawal if they have an opioid addiction, uh, reduce or stop cravings for the illicit substance. And for that reason, both are highly successful in supporting a person in their recovery. For years, buprenorphine prescriptions were heavily regulated, but last year, President Biden relaxed those federal regulations. Starting Saturday, emergency responders with the San Francisco Fire Department will be able to administer the drug to those struggling with addiction. Section Chief Michael Mason with the Community Paramedicine Division says his staff is trained and ready. Well, after someone is given Narcan, they typically don't feel very good. They're in kind of what we call precipitated withdrawal. And that's a very short window, and that's the window uh, where Suboxone could be useful for many people. It would help them feel better, it would help manage their withdrawal symptoms, and allow them to exit that cycle. I reached out to the National Harm Reduction Coalition about the new program in San Francisco. Acting Director Laura Guzman says treatment expansion is important, but that education is just as important for those experiencing an overdose. As long as it's done uh, in a culturally appropriate manner, in a linguistic appropriate manner, and also that people should have the option to whether or not to go to the emergency room, depending on the circumstances. Dr. Cunnan says buprenorphine will also be more available at primary care clinics, hospitals, and pharmacies. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron4 News.